Hi, Carol here. Welcome to my craft room. And here's the box envelope I'm going to make for my friend Marla. Hey Marla, she asked if I would make a box envelope that would fit a five and a half by seven and a half inch card. And what I did here, I wanted to show you when you go to Michael's, I got these for 99 cents and you can find these on the sale uh, bins a lot of the times, these pockets. And what you can do is you can take them apart like this, just take the sides down and you can just um, mimic it. And look at that, you've got the sticky on the back they're very reasonable. I think each bag here was 99 cents a piece. So I found those while I was uh, cleaning up my craft room. <laughs> yeah, so here I thought, okay, there's many ways that we can do um, just an envelope, right? But I wanted to make one that had a half inch depth to it. So five and a half by seven and a half. I thought to myself, okay, I'm just going to come up with my own plan. So whenever I need a card that is has a lot of embellishments in it, I just have to measure the depth. And I decided to put a half inch on this one. So I cut the cardstock out to 11 and a half by 11 and a half uh, right here. And then I used the envelope maker only to get the backdrop and one of these panels. See this one I'm doing right here? You want to save this one, the large one. So yes, I'm just counting over. I'll give you the measurements right here. And um, let me just see. So we're going to cut this out. I'm looking uh, here. This card is five and a half by seven and a half. And I'm just uh, putting the outline on there just for myself so I could see the measurement. So when I went about making the card box, I would know how to do it. And this will work for any size. And I'll show you how it's done. So easy peasy, even though my video is 19 minutes and 30 seconds long. But I was having so much fun in the craft room today because it was in the high 90s here. And it was nice to be in the air conditioning. Now, because I'm going with the envelope, maker measurements to do my base right here. This was as large as I could get it when I scored it. And it came to eight and a half by six and three quarters if I'm right. But I will show you, uh, you want to have, I needed this base at that size and it really should have measured out eight and three quarters by six and three quarters but the envelope maker doesn't make it that big. So I'm going to work with this piece at eight and a, eight and a quarter by six and three quarters. And let's, let's go ahead and show you. So my depth on the card, I'm assuming that Marla, your card is approximately one and a half inches deep. That's what my card was with the bevel. So I went with that and I went with a card that I had that was six, actually it was six by seven and a half. So I knew if I placed that down, I could somewhat get a vision of how big this envelope box needed to be. So this is the card that I made that I used that it was one and a half inches deep. And how I knew that, I just took my Tim Holtz ruler here, stood it up, took a piece of paper and measured it and it came out to be an inch and a half. So I had to make it an inch and a half on the three sides plus a quarter inch to uh, score to put down on that sheet of paper. So here I'm scoring each end at uh, one and three quarters. So one and a half I scored it, excuse me, and then I added another quarter inch. So at the end here, you'll see me score it at first a quarter of an inch over and Oh no, I'm doing it at the um, one and three quarters. I gave myself one and three quarters and then I moved in a quarter of an inch and I did that all the way on three sides here. So that's why I left it in the video to show you. I have the uh, fold at a quarter of an inch right there. I'm just scoring it so it's a nice fold there. And then I have it an inch and a half deep. Now I have my backdrop in the green and that's as big as I could get it with an envelope fold. 
um, on the envelope maker. So I'm working with this one and it was big enough at eight and um, it was eight and a half. I'm not sure, but it'll say later on in the video, you'll see the measurements. Now I haven't uh, made a box card without any measurements, like where I had to make up the measurements myself for a card. So, uh, but now I realize that however deep you want that your embellished card is, whatever the depth is, add a quarter of an inch to it or half an inch. If I had to do it again, I wouldn't have done it a quarter of an inch. I would have added another half inch. So it would be, this card would be two inches. I would have scored it in a half an inch and then an inch and a half. So now I'm just going to tighten up the card so it doesn't have any of those frayed edges. I want it to be nice and crisp looking here. So I took it over to just make it look, you know, just a sliver off of there. And then we're going to work with this together. So I have the flip part that I want, that fold. So here, yes, it's eight and a half by, I think it's six and three quarters. And this is the biggest um, card that you can make on the envelope maker at the bottom measurement. And here I measured it's four and a quarter by four and a quarter across on the Martha Stewart board. So you know that if you fold this in half and you cut it there, right there from the four and a half to the four and a half, you would have a perfect envelope size right there. Now, here we go. We're going back to the decorating of it. And um, I know I have that inch and a half right there that I already put down and I put the quarter inch down, but I'm going to show you right here. I added another quarter inch so that I had a half an inch on that green sheet. I felt that it didn't have enough stability with the quarter inch. So I just grabbed some extra paper and I added, um, I made it a half an inch all the way around. That's what I did. So when you see the colored paper on there, you'll realize it is a half an inch down on the lime green paper, the eight and a half by six and three quarter sheet. And I'm going to make it stable with, with some scotch tape on the folds because you're going to be opening and closing it. And I didn't want it to rip. So I thought if you go across here with some scotch tape and you go across the other side, when you fold it in and you're going to um, tuck it into each other, that'll make a nice fold. So um, here we go. I'm just putting it on all the creases, adding some scotch tape on the creases so that the fold uh, will wear in time and it'll make it nice and sturdy. So I'm showing you right here, I have a one and a half inches deep on all three sides and I'm gonna fold it in and I just added the score mark. I made it to be half an inch. If you're wondering when you look at it, um, you're going, that, that looks like you added paper right there, Carol, to the quarter inch. I did. I put, I grabbed a um, half inch sheet and then I just secured it onto the fold, from the fold out a half an inch. So every time you want to make a box card, just measure the depth and add a half an inch. I measured the depth on here and added a quarter inch and changed it up because I just felt that quarter inch was not enough to secure it to that green sheet. So here I am working it <laughs> to get the fold. Um, once you keep watching here, I'll cut it off on the angle right here and I'll fold it down. And when you have your box card, you will realize how you have to fold. See how I tucked it into the top portion and then the half inch right here. I just set my hand inside the box and I slide it down and secure it with my ATG gun, the half inch ATG and it made it a beautiful fold. So I'm working on it, but I came into another little bit of a problem here. And the reason why I did is the envelope maker only goes up to 11 and a half by 11 and a half sheet of paper. That's as big as the envelope will get on that envelope maker. So I had to work it, uh, make it work here. 
yeah, I had to work it too. So here I am realizing, okay, Carol, you have to miter the side to get it in there. There we go. I just cut it. I'm going to slide it behind that little section. And actually, you could cut that section right off. I don't know why I didn't, but I, I worked with it just mitering it um, halfway. And then you have a nice sweet corner on each side. But look at here. I don't have enough on the top. I realized if I fold that over, I need one and a half inches. And on the envelope maker, it only gives you one inch. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, I need to add that other, I'm just here trying, I'm going to score it right down inside, right there at the crease. Yeah, I'm trying to think here. I'm trying to measure it because I am working, oh, I decided to grab the larger one for some reason. Now on the fold of the actual envelope right here, I need it to be one and a half inches across, right? And it came up short a quarter of an inch. So I only had one and a quarter inches to work with. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, I will take it off so that I have um, one and a quarter inches right there uh, to work with. I need one and a half inches in total. So I cut that off on the fold and then we kept that extra flap which I'm going to add to this. So here I have, I need one and a half inches across and I'm short a quarter of an inch. So what I did here is I am just going to score it to make it fold over which is nice so I get that extra half an inch here. I'll fold it. Um, I just grab a half an inch and then we're going to put some score tape after I miter it. I hope this really helps you to understand like it helped me as I was trying to transition and make a boxed envelope that um, you need to have um, just whatever the depth is plus a half an inch and you just do three sides of your paper like that and it should work out where you don't have to cut the top off because this is the largest size I could get out of the punch board. So I did have to add this um, triangle flap. So now we're going to make it work so that it's one and a half inches deep and I get a nice fold for the envelope to come uh, down onto the box and it worked out perfectly. So. Um, I'm just going to take some double sided tape and then we're going to cover the one and a half inches there with a uh, pattern paper to match the card and it's that easy. I know it's a long video and I know it probably sounds more complicated than it is so I'm going to go over it again. Whatever size you work with on your score board that your card is, say it's five and a half by four and a quarter but it's uh, an inch deep then you make it on three sides an inch and a half so that you have the inch to cover you know to have enough room for your embellishments and then the half inch to score and fold and it gives you a really nice box envelope and if it's three inches that you need it deep because you have you know tons of embellies on it it's three and a half inches scored at a half so you can make that score and um, make your box card. So here I have a strip that's one and a half inches wide. I want to cover the piece that we added right here with the triangle and then you want to do the same thing on the other side right because it has um, all of those creases. I just wanted to make it uh, look nice. See how I was... Uh, this is an experimental envelope box for Marla. Yes, she just asked me uh, if I knew how to make one and I haven't, you know, made, I needed those exact measurements that she gave me. And um, yeah, so I had a card that was six by seven and a half. I worked with that because I always had tissue paper when I have a box. If I make a box for a card with an acetate top, I'll do that next because that's really easy peasy. But this one, I have not uh, made one with that measurement, so I was experimenting with you.
And then after I got this one finished, I realized you only need to add the depth plus a score and a half an inch on any card that um, you just need to know the depth. And then on three sides, you score it in at the depth that you measure it and add a half an inch or a quarter of an inch so that you can score that and make it a fold so that you get this uh, box look. Isn't that pretty? So I added the Distress ink to all the corners here and then we're going to add some lace. And this is how I am going. I'm going to use this box envelope too. I just loved it when I was done and I love the size of six by seven and a half inch cards. So now I know exactly how to make a box card. <laughs> Thanks to Marla. Thank you, Marla. So I grabbed my finger uh, hot glue fingertip that Virginia gave me. Thank you, Virginia. I love it. And then I back this up because I want to show just a little bit bit of that uh, lace on the inside of the flap so I'll show you and then I had timepiece a real heavy clock and the paper that I used from Heartfelt Creations had um, food on it and I thought a clock like it's time to eat time for dinner yes anyway I had the clock because my friend Debbie gave me these embellishments and I wanted to use it on this one. So I'm using my finger dauber there so I don't burn my fingers off. And um, the weight of this clock will hold down my um, flap and easy peasy. We have a box envelope for a six by seven and a half inch card or in Marla's case, five and a half by uh, seven and a half. And um, when, see how the weight, now I didn't score that across there, so, but if you score it really well, that will hold down on the front. So you can add any uh, embellishment or anything, you know, you could wrap a piece of ribbon in there and, and wrap it around, whatever you like. But that's what I had on hand, and I thought it was really cute to, it's an actual weight on the corner. It's really pretty. And there's the six by seven and seven and a half inch card that I have. And the measurements on this, my bestie card, look at that. Fits in there beautifully. Thank you very much, Marla, for just inspiring me and motivating me to make a box envelope. I make a lot of six by seven and a half inch cards and now I know that all you have to do is add the depth plus a half an inch score and you have yourself a beautiful box envelope. And what I do when I make boxes for my cards, I add tissue paper inside them. I think it's a nice way to uh, give a card. It's like a little wee gift in a boxed envelope. Yes. And thank you very much, Virginia, for my um, hot glue gun fingertip pieces. And thank you, Deb, for my um, beautiful embellishments there and lace that you gave me. And I sure do appreciate uh, everybody that inspires me to uh, create. And there's my, my besties. I have a video on this if you would like to. I'll leave a link if you'd like to see this card. And thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your wonderful comments and your thumbs up. I appreciate it so very much. I'm going to leave you with some of the pictures. And I think that the colors went well. Yes, I just measured the depth of this card and then added a half an inch score to it. Take care, everybody. You have yourself a blessed weekend, and I'll see you on the next video.